Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Avian. Today's video, as you can see from the title, is a super controversial topic. It's the Sydney versus Melbourne question, I guess, that everyone always debates about. And I don't know why, because there is a clear winner. Everyone is always comparing Sydney and Melbourne. I mean, like, Australians themselves are always comparing them because people in Sydney are always um, saying that they're better than people in Melbourne and Melbournians think that they're better, better than Sydney ciders. Sydney was hands down my favorite between Sydney and Melbourne. Sydney's better than Melbourne, like, on so many levels. And I'm gonna talk about the main reasons why and kind of the main things that um, come up when comparing the two cities and, I guess, the things that distinguish them and make Sydney better. And I'll try not to be biased. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is... So for me, when I was going to Australia, weather was like the number one important factor. So obviously, like the further north you go in Australia, the better the weather it is, the more tropical it is. I guess um, Queensland and Gold Coast would be like, it has the reputation for being having the best weather and then like the more you go south the kind of colder it goes so Victoria kind of has a reputation of having really cold um, winters and very very hot dry summers the same with Adelaide I mean their summers are super hot and super dry but their winters are cold as for Sydney Sydney's kind of like crazy weather wise I've never seen so much torrential rain in one go in my life in Sydney so yeah it does rain a lot in one go in Sydney but in places like Melbourne it's more like drizzly and spread out throughout the year whereas in Sydney it just like comes in torrential downpours. So I wasn't in Melbourne for the summer so I can't really like give an honest opinion on, on the weather in Melbourne in summer. I can only kind of go on other people's information and my experience. When I was in Sydney I did get like a bad amount of rain but the weather otherwise was amazing. It was amazing. It's super hot, it's super sunny and I think in, gen in general like Sydney does get better weather than Melbourne in the summer. Although when I moved to Melbourne in like April it was it was really hot they got like an Indian summer and it's a like drier heat um so yeah but the winter was like it was like an Irish summer but it was cold it was windy it was pretty dark Sydney has like a milder winter I think and it comes into summer much quicker in the year in Sydney than it does in Melbourne around right September October it starts to get really good in Sydney again whereas Melbourne sometimes summer doesn't start till January so I guess Sydney wins on the on the weather front. Okay, so I want to talk about like the cultural, arts, creative scene between the two cities. And I guess this is where Melbourne kind of comes out on top when people compare the two cities because, you know, it's you know, labeled as the most cultural city in Australia. Melbourne is really all about, you know, theater and art exhibitions. It's a very, very like cultural city and it's got loads to offer in terms of museums. Sydney does as well. I guess Sydney's arts um, scene is more low-key. It's not what Sydney is really known for. I mean, there's the Sydney Opera House and there's tons of stuff to do in terms of arts and culture. Um, but in terms of like the actual feel of the city, Melbourne definitely does trump it a little bit. Like when I arrived in Melbourne, I was like, oh, this feels like a European city almost whereas Sydney definitely didn't and but the thing is what I felt was weird with Melbourne was that it was like trying to be European or something or that it felt European but I could have just gone to Europe and got a more European city if you know what I mean whereas Melbourne was kind of halfway in between so in terms of the people this is another thing I noticed that everyone like from Melbourne claimed that the people in Melbourne were more friendly and that they didn't like the people in Sydney. And like I get how Sydney is kind of like the glamorous city and it people will arrive there with like this preconception that everyone is going to be really snobby and um, unfriendly I guess. But I met the, the nicest people ever in Sydney, I had no problem with that, like obviously I met crazy people too but um in terms of the people like you know Ma like melbourne was like quite normal you know people were fr like friendly but i i found that people were friendly in sydney as well um so i definitely would just have to say equal there and actually people in sydney were probably happier because the weather wasn't as bad 
Okay, transport, hands down, Sydney, so much better. I mean, you have buses in Sydney and you have the underground train, which was amazing. It was so fast. I mean, you could zip around on it. Sometimes it was a little bit awkward, but it's like that in any city with like a, with the main subway line. There's always gonna be like a little bit of awkwardness sometimes. But it was really fast. I never had any problems getting to the main places, getting where I needed to be. I used a mixture of the buses and subways and that's actually quite unusual to have a bus service which is just as good as a subway at least in anywhere I've lived like for example in New York I would rather die than get on a bus in Manhattan because it's just so busy um, and the subway's great here I'm like I really like subways I hate buses so that's why I like Sydney whereas Melbourne all you have I maybe you have bus I think you have buses in Melbourne but I never ever took a bus in Melbourne um, they have trams and the trams were terrible were awful I hated it they were so slow they were really irregular you could never tell when one was coming like in some areas and they were also just like always crowded and packed they would have these like tiny old-fashioned trams for peak hour like at 5 p.m. everyone would be squashed in and yeah it was like they looked really cute and quaint and when I arrived in Melbourne first I thought whoa this is so cute it's like it's kind of like Lisbon Berlin kind of vibe with the um, with the trams and they're they are they are cute um, but they were slow they were like annoying for cyclists as well and um, I like had a really bad accident when my bike got like caught in the, the ruts of the tram lines and I went flying and it's just like so dangerous you have to stop as a cyclist every time that the tram stops and yeah they were annoying I didn't like I didn't like the trams okay so in terms of the lifestyle it's definitely they're definitely two very different cities I mean my experience of Sydney was obviously living by the beach it's very like sporty um, very everyone's like very into being staying active and healthy and it's all smoothie bowls and it's all very much everyone is like floating around in a bikini and um it is quite like glamorous and um showy offy and materialistic i guess but just concentrating on the fitness and health health lifestyle part of it i guess and the kind of vibe around bondi beach even if it wasn't like health and fitness related the kind the really chill like beach life i absolutely loved it like that's something that i've never found anywhere else um that sydney had the city and the beach i mean like the city isn't amazing in sydney it's very quite corporate you wouldn't go to the city to hang out at the weekend um but you could go to the beach so again the lifestyle in melbourne is a little bit like more grungy and more like I guess it depends on where you are. I was living in Fitzroy and that's like hipster heaven. Um, I know there is like South Melbourne is a bit more kind of um, sophisticated, I guess, from what I gathered. But yeah, the lifestyle there is just different. It's more of like a city vibe and I absolutely love that. But as I said, I've been in like, there are other cities that I would rather live in for the city vibe than Melbourne. So I wouldn't like travel to the other side, I wouldn't move to the other side of the world to kind of live a city lifestyle that I could get better in Europe. So Sydney definitely trumped it in terms of lifestyle and quality of life. It was just, if you have um, a good amount of money in Sydney long term, yeah, that's where I'd be going. So on to beaches. St. Kilda Beach is like Whereas Bondi Beach is incomparable. I mean, I left my heart on Bondi Beach. I just adore that beach. I mean, the color of the water, and I said this in another video, the color of the water in Sydney is just, it's special. And then you have like icebergs. I never even went to iceberg swimming pool, but walking past it and just like being around that vibe, I absolutely loved it. It's just like, aesthetic is on point. Okay, vegan food. So if you're really into restaurants and like amazing, like amazing, amazing vegan food, then I guess Melbourne wins because especially in North Melbourne around Fitzroy, I mean, Brunswick Street is just lined with vegan 
like restaurants. Melbourne is actually hands down the best place I've ever been as a vegan. There's just options absolutely everywhere. Sydney is amazing for vegan food as well. I mean, Gelato Blue, Gigi's Pizzas, the options are endless. So if you want to get good vegan food in Sydney, I would go to the western suburbs, so like um, Newtown, and there is tons of really great vegan food on like in the eastern suburbs as well, like Bondi and everything, but it's more like acai bowls and stuff and it, yeah, so it's more kind of like fruity and tropical based I guess and there are most places I found in the eastern suburbs which had good vegan food weren't exclusively vegan places because there's obviously like a mixture of lifestyles at Bondi like so many people are like paleo gluten free so the cafes over on that side try to cater for everything before I announce Sydney as the winner I just want to say kudos to Melbourne's cafe scene Oh my god, I am a sucker for cafes. I mean, if I don't get to a new cafe every single week or take a photo of a new cafe or just like check out the interior design of a new cafe, like I just, I love it. I just, I absolutely love the coffee culture. And Melbourne just had it down to a tea, just, it just made it really special to go, like, to go and get a cup of coffee and like even if you were taking it away, if you were sitting down, I mean I had so many favourite coffee shops in Melbourne, they really take it seriously. I mean I remember paying like 5 or 6 dollars once for a coffee where they weighed my coffee beans out before they served it to me. Really chic interiors, really grungy interiors, I mean really cosy interiors. That was the one good thing about being there in winter is that there were like fireplaces in some of the cafes and you could just huddle up and I wrote about this in my blog how it was kind of like a secret garden when you discovered a new cafe in Melbourne because there's just, oh, amazing. Please tell me a city where you can get better coffee and cafe scene than Melbourne because I'm not so sure it exists. But overall, I have to say that Sydney was just hands down the winner because you know, you've got better weather, you've got better beaches. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you're like traveling to Australia, I lived there for a year. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will definitely be making more videos about it. So thanks for watching. Give this video a like and subscribe. See you later.